What is the quickest way to create a personal blog and get data from a server using an API? That and many more just in a couple of seconds. My name is Norbert BM and I wish you well welcome back to my channel. I had a well-deserved vacation and I'm back with new powers with a new React project. So let's just get started. This is the finished project. Of course, it's just going to have a title, a subtitle, and then we're going to use JSON's placeholder to grab some data from the server and post it in our posts. So we're also going to use Axios. And you know what? I'm just going to make this smaller. And also going to make my face a little bit smaller. There we go. Let's resize this. And of course, as always, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code as the code editor. And you can probably see I'm using Firefox now instead of Google Chrome, just because it's much quicker for teaching purposes. Also, the course on React is almost 75% using Firefox. Google Chrome is just too much, too much power for too little performance. Okay, now we have a code editor opened. Let's create a new folder. Let's call this my, you know what? I'm just going to open up the terminal. Control tilde. We are in our code and now let's create a new React project. We're going to npx create dash react dash app and now let's name it my or let's name it norbert blog you can name it of course after your own name so norbert dash blog let's hit enter and this is also going to create a new folder for us where it's going to install all of the dependencies now if you take a look in our norbert dash blog folder you're going to see package.json created, getting created, and so forth and so on. Also, I'm going to copy in for my source here, my app dot, wait a second, where's my index or app? Also, I'm going to copy in this folder, as always, my CSS. You can find, actually, you can find the entire code in the description below on my blog, on my personal blog, <laughs> where we're going to, you just need to copy and paste the CSS for your project. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to take just through a couple of steps. We're going to install also Axios because we're going to use fetch request in order to get our information from the JSON placeholder server. Now, if you never use JSON placeholder, it's basically just a, a server that is holding JSON format data, and you can make easy exercises on that. Okay, so everything is installed. I'm going to now npm start. Actually, we need to first cd into Norbert blog and then npm and start in order to start a project. Okay, this should start you on localhost 3000 unless you have something else opened, which is going to start you on another server. So let's go into source. Let's go into app CSS and also index.css. And here, I'm going to paste in my entire CSS and you're going to have it filtered down. This, this is just a lot of CSS. This is actually for my React course that is coming up just in a month, I believe. I uh, don't need all of this. You're going to find the filtered code down in the description. Okay, so just paste this in, hit save. Then let's go to app. And here we're going to just delete everything. We don't need anything from here. Hit save. This is going to break our project and delete the logo. And then let's get started by creating in our app, we're going to create here a h1. Also, please have here down here React JavaScript enabled in order to get your code snippets. So let's type in an h1 with a class. So dot, this stands for class name in our case, because this is no longer CSS or HTML. And we're going to call this title, then another dot text dash center, another dot bg, bg dash uh, accept dot text dash light and dot p dash two in order to have padding. Now hit save. You should see a background, but let's also type in the title. I'm going to name this Norbert blog. Of course, you can use your own name if you wish so. Okay, so we got the very first thing here, which is our title. Also, let's change this app to, no, I'm going to paste the next one into a dot container. And this is where our posts 
will live. So I'm just going to type in here post post not the component, just the title. There we go. There are our posts. Now this will actually live in a h2. So let's type in here h2 with the class of subtitle. Hit enter and paste our post back in here. Now, because this, this is sent automatically centered to the center, I want to move it to the left side. So let's type in here text dash left. This is going to this is going to align it to the left side. Also for the title up here, I'm going to add a margin to the bottom, margin to the bottom. So M B of four. Oh, let me also enable word wrap, toggle word wrap. And there we go. They should resize everything. Now in our container is where after our subtitle is where our posts will live. So we're going to create here UL and just going to type in for now posts. Okay, so this is going to be a post. And now let's create that post. I'm not going to create here the post body and head and ID, but I'm going to create a separate component. So let's go to our source. Let's create a folder. Let's go, or you can just create a file. If you want, let's create a file of post.jsx because we're only having one component. Then now, now create a folder. Mm. Let me delete this, of course. And once again, post.jsx. JSX. Uh, in a post.jsx, you can use the RFC, which is going to uh, export you a default function. It's going to be called post. And this post is going to have a couple of props. But first, let me create the actual post. Let's also import it. So we're going to go back to our UL. Let's import here. Let's add here our posts as a component. And this should also automatically import it up here for you. If it didn't import it for you, then you just need to type in import post from dot forward slash post because you're in the same folder as your main application. So you should see now posts here, actually posts. So I'm going to go up here and change it to posts. So multiple, because we have multiple posts. And each time we're going to return here a component, a post component is going to return for us a post. Now let's go back in our post component. And let's style it a bit. So instead of this div, I'm also going to add here class name of margin bottom, so mb dash four, and instead of post, I'm going to return here another div with a alert dot alert dash info. Then display flags the flags, then flags column. And that's basically it for now. Now, in our alert, in our post, we're going to return the body and we're going to return the title. So let's type in here an H3 with a class of subtitle. And let's type in here title. Okay, this is going to return us a title and then a paragraph tag, which is going to return the body. So let's just type in here body. Now I'm going to return up here a couple of props, which will be title and body because this components is going to accept two, actually three props, also the, the date. So let's add the date here in a small tag. And let's just type in here date. And the date should be actually to the right side. So let's add to this a style. And let's add a width of not the window width, a width of 100% of its component, which is going to now be the entire width. And now I can add to this a class of text and write, which is going to align everything to the right side. Let's also change the color of the text. So I'm going to add here text.accept. It's going to give it the same color as up here. And also the post. Let's go back to the post to the H2. Let's add to this text.accept. And there we go much better this way. Okay, now let's move back to the post. We're not quite done. Also going to also going to close up the Explorer tab and to have more real estate here. And instead of title here, I'm going to add now up here prop of title. And if there's nothing displayed, then we're going to have the string of title. So let's add this down here as 
a prop title and this should be equal what am i doing uh, now the body then be also a prop so body which will be equal to the let's just say text or block text block text and let's replace it here with the property so blast block plug text is now displayed instead of block also the date will be passed up here as date and we're going to assign it to day uh month and year okay there we go so let's replace this with date now instead of title with capital t i'm going to add here a lowercase t i'm going to show you a little trick actually no, it's not a trick but it's just a function that can transform then the first letter from a string into a capital letter because in most cases, when you're going to return something, it's not necessarily in capital letter form, so the very first letter from a string. I'm going to solve this problem by creating a function. Now I'm going to call this a utility function. I'm going to create it down here. Utility function. And let's go down here. Let's call this. And let's create here the function now. Function. And let's call this capitalize first letter okay now this is going to take in a string as an argument and it's going to return remember we need to explicitly return something here it's going to return that string and now we're going to use a couple of methods on it first will be chart and we're going to use here zero because it's going to cut now the string from the very first letter then to uppercase and then we're going to add to this the string again but we're going to slice from the sling from the string the very first letter actually the second one so this is going to take the first one and this should be char there we go so let's test it instead of returning here title with the lowercase i just need to add now my capitalized letter up here the function and wrap whatever is passed in here in that function and there we go title is now with capital t again so we're kind of done with our post so let's move back with the post component so let's move back to the to the app and now let's install axios for this we're going to open up another you can either stop the server with control T with control C or just open up another command line. Now, don't forget to CD into your blog project and now NPM I for install and then Axios hit enter. And this should now install Axios as a dependency. Also take a look in your package.json and you should see here Axios now installed. There we go, access version one, four, maybe we're going to see a, no, a new version depending on when you're watching this video. We're going to close up now this, and now that we have Axios installed, we're going to grab onto our API from the JSON placeholder and bring our data into our blog and then pass it down into a post for each individual post. So let's import first of all Axios from the access library then we're going to also import from react use state and use effect because remember now we need to add our status and it's going to be imported from react of course and we're going to use effect because each time we are getting data it needs to reset or each time we're loading the page it needs to use effect in order to get us the data so let's go into our function our app and right here we're going to first of all assign to our state a data or a post and this is going to actually posts and then set posts 
Okay, and this is just going to set everything to an empty string. And it should be actually in the parentheses. Okay, so let's set it to a empty array with using use state. And this will be added to an empty array. Next up, let's use use effect. So use effect, create a callback function, anonymous function. And first things first, let's fetch the data using our API key. So X, we're going to use our access server dot get, and I'm going to pass in the address, the URL. So it's going to be HTTPS column forward slash forward slash, then JSON placeholder dot type code dot com forward slash, and then posts. And let me also just quickly show you this website. And we just paste in this here. Uh, you know what? Actually, this is the request that we're going to send. We're going to get back our title and our body. And this is the entire, actually, also the use ID. And this is the data in JSON form that we're going to get back if we send to this address a request. Also, the JSON placeholder.com. Let's just go to it very really quickly. And you can now look here for any kind of data that you want. Okay, now back to our application. We're not done yet, but after we're getting the data, we need to use a then method. And the response will be now added to our state using set post. And we're going to set the response dot data as our post. Also, we can use now a catch. If you got an error, error, then let's display that error. So we're just going to use the console now to console log dot log that error if you're getting one. Okay, and each time we're resetting this, we're going to get another request. So where will these requests be executed? Well, down here in our post. So instead of returning one post, we are now going to use our data up here, our posts. Let's open and close query brackets. And within here, we're going to return, our, we're going to loop of our posts using the map method. And each time we're going to return a post, we are going to send it into a post component now. So we're going to use our post component, actually this one right here, we can just pass it in here. And now for the data. The data will be passed down as props. Remember, we have on our posts, we have the props. If we go back to our posts, we have a title, we have a body, and we have a date. So let's go here. And first things first, we of course need a key. So each time we're returning from a map a element, it needs a key, and we're going to use the post.id as the key. Next, for the title, we're of course going to use the post.title. And you should now also close up <laughs> my other server. You should already see titles appearing now and it's getting you, I don't know how many, but a bunch of posts. Okay, now let's also get the post itself. So the body, let's go to the body and return here post.body. And now for the date, let me hit save. The date will be actually a random date. Now, how can we create a random date? Well, by using a function. And for this, I'm going to pass this into, a cur into curly brackets. And now let's create down here another utility. Let me just remove this for now. So date, so we're not going to get an error. Let's create here a function that's going to return kind of a random date. So let's create here utility function again. And by the way, if you don't understand use effect, use state, I'm explaining everything really deeply in my upcoming course. So if you're interested in that, then definitely subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Okay, now let's create a function. So let's say function, you know what I'm going to use this time a const, Go, call it get random and date. Now I'm going to assign this to an error function. 
and within here we're just going to create a date a day which is going to have a a month and a year so let's start with const date which is going to be a new date then i'm just going to copy this a couple of times I'm going to re re replace your date with day and we're going to get from this new date the get day method and now you know what i'm going to delete this and copy this and let's say we're going to use here month and we're going to use here the get month method and the last one will be year and obviously we're going to use on this the get year method okay so we got our four all we need to do now actually we need to do two more things is return and i'm going to return everything using template zero. so return and dollar sign variable the day forward slash then the month forward slash the year and now you should see oh, actually i need to pass it down here uh now instead of get random and now we're going to use our get random date in here as date with the prop so date and just going to initialize the function here of get random also initialize it boom there we go and now we should get well i messed up here a bit is get full year uh <laughs> oh yeah i just divided them so one second these are all variables okay and dollar sign and there we go you should see now now we're getting the same date sadly so now uh, what we could do is create a random number generator that would obviously this should be the date from where, where you release your post but we didn't say but the json placeholder doesn't have a date property so this is why i'm going to use here a random number that's going to subtract from the day and the month so let's create a, a const uh, get random and number and this is just going to subtract using a min and max it's just going to subtract from the from these dates a random number so num number first of all and also this should be a error function so where we're going to pass into this function it's going to return a math dot floor and again math dot floor dot random and now we can multiply this using max minus min and add to this the min okay whatever range will be passed into this function will then be subtracted from these numbers so let's pass in here the function let's subtract it from the day let's say one to six okay you can see it's now subtracting or adding a random number you can do the same thing for your month and there we go okay so hope you enjoyed this project let's just say this is how you can create a simple blog and get data using axios from your database okay so hope you enjoyed the project if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel as always my name is Nobel BM, and hey, stay subscribed for the new React course, complete for beginners. And also don't miss out on the day one lowest price possible coupon code. Okay, love you all. Mwah. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.